If you're a streamer who wants to start editing your own videos, one of the first hurdles you will encounter is what to do with hours and hours of gameplay footage. Here is how to quickly review lots of footage in DaVinci Resolve. Now, when it comes to ways to review and pull clips from your footage, there are basically two schools of thought. I like to call these two approaches the messy method and the clean method. First up, messy method. If you are just getting into editing, this might be your first instinct. We've got Resolve Open, a folder with your clip, and you can just drag and drop that multiple hour long recording right onto the timeline. Now, you actually wanna watch your footage. So what do you do? You press play. And then a few seconds go by, you press stop and think, oh, oh no. no, this is going to take forever. Enter scrubbing. Scrubbing is the technique of quickly previewing and moving through your footage. One of the classic ways to do this is with the J, K, and L keys. These are also known as the shuttle controls because of reasons that made sense back when the term footage also made sense. On your timeline, you can press L to begin playing your footage forward, K to stop playback, and J to begin playing your footage backwards. But this is where it gets interesting. If you press L to begin playing your footage forward and you press L again, boom, you're watching at two times speed. Hit L again, boom, four times speed. And you can just keep doubling that playback speed again and again until you get up to 64 times playback speed. If you find something you like, you can use the blade edit mode by pressing B, cut that clip, and move on to the next one. Now, how effective this will be for you will largely depend on what kind of footage you're working with. A first person shooter might need to be played back at a slightly slower speed so you don't miss any highlights, where something like a MOBA can be viewed at a higher speed um, where team fights and moves across the map will be more apparent. From the shuttle controls, we move on to two ways to use your mouse in the timeline to scrub through footage. The main benefit of scrubbing with your mouse is that it's flexible. You can dynamically slow down or speed up your scrubbing based on your footage. Let's check it out by using the blade edit mode. If you have the blade edit mode selected, whenever you mouse over your footage, you will see playback begin in the timeline viewer. If you are still seeing the entirety of your footage in your timeline, that probably means scrubbing would be way too fast. So play around, zoom in, and find an area that feels better and scrub from there. There are two major drawbacks of scrubbing with the blade edit mode. First, your playhead is not moving with your scrubbing. If you watch your footage and make a few cuts, when you press play or the spacebar, you will be instantly teleported back to where you left your playhead. Second, you won't have any audio when you're scrubbing, which could be a useful tool. Here's the scrubbing method I prefer. If you directly grab the playhead and drag it across the timeline, you'll see a preview in the timeline viewer. Now, unlike the preview you saw when you moused over your clip with the blade edit tool, you should be hearing audio playback if you have that enabled here. And more importantly, you now possess the full power of the playhead. Start scrubbing through your footage by quickly dragging the playhead, and when you find a clip you want to use, press Ctrl B to cut your footage at the playhead. Do this a few more times and you'll really start to get a feel for how much quicker it is to place cuts without having to switch to the blade edit tool and manually click in the timeline for every cut. We're in a pretty good spot now. We can review and cut our clips without ever having to take our hands off of the mouse and keyboard. But if we decide to delete any of the footage we don't want to use, we still need to manually select the clip and either delete with the backspace key or use the delete key to ripple delete, which will delete the footage and shuffle all footage after it back in to fill the gap that would have been left. But instead of that, let's first go up to timeline and make sure selection follows playhead is enabled. Then whenever you scrub through your footage, you will see the red outline on whatever clip your playhead is over. Now, as you're scrubbing along, cutting out clips with control B, if you scrub back to the section you've already reviewed and know you don't want to use, that clip will be selected and you can let go of the playhead and press Control X to cut that clip right out of there. With this approach, you can just fly through your footage. High speed, low drag. Scrubbing through the timeline can offer you a lot of flexibility. And as you build that skill set, you can very quickly move through your footage and pull clips. So there is the messy method, the clean method I recommend for those who want a slightly more 
relaxed experience when it comes to reviewing and pulling clips. So we're gonna start with a completely fresh timeline. If you have your footage in the media browser, double click on that and it will bring it back up in the source viewer. There is a small timeline in the viewer, but if you are working on a multiple hour long piece of footage, dragging and slipping that playhead will just be unusable. You'll jump along too quickly. So we need to rely on our trusty JKNL shuttle controls. That's why I say this is the more relaxed experience. You can sit back, watch through your footage at two, four, eight times speed. And when you find something you like and want to clip it, here's what you do. At the start of the clip you would like to pull, press I to set an in point. At the end of the clip, press O to set an out point, and then press F9. And just like that, that portion of your multiple hour long recording is added into your timeline. Nice and clean. From there, carry on reviewing your footage, setting more in and out points whenever you want, and dropping those clips into the timeline with F9. So there you have it, two approaches to reviewing and cutting clips out of long recordings, multiple different methods therein. I absolutely encourage you to try them out and see what feels best for you. It's very likely you will end up bouncing between these methods depending on the individual requirements of whatever project you're in. I know we got into the weeds a little bit with keyboard shortcuts and changing settings in the toolbar, but if you take the time to learn these tools, I guarantee it will kickstart your editing skill set. Thank you so much for watching. If you got this far, if you have any questions about DaVinci Resolver editing, please leave a comment below. If you found the video useful, please drop a like. And if you would like more video tutorials like this covering DaVinci Resolver editing or motion graphics, uh, please consider subscribing. Thanks.